yeah, that's just like so obvious that like obviously it's just so obvious you kind of forget that you need to re-establish that fact. Exactly, yes. Because bear in mind, of course, now, Edward's just realised, oh shit, I've just been transporting a corpse from point A to point B. Ew! I wonder what the smell was. <laughs> and here's me thinking it was just my lo- trip to the local butchers. But of course, we know that Edward did make the move, make, make, make the uh, drive up and down, because he was told to. This random piece of evidence from an irrelevant case... And it was a cheat that made him do it. Mm. That screwdriver that had nothing to do with anything. Aha! Exactly, yes. So we could have presented the screwdriver there as well, I think. Um, because essentially, like, there were two, they seemed like two complete red herrings at the time. But yeah, no, this yeah. is actually the evidence you need to, to nail Gantz, which is kind of ironic in a sense. We still haven't said how we got Detective Goldman's body into the car. This is true. Again, it could be the case that, like, um, well, bear in mind, of course, Edward was distracted with the uh, King of Prosecutors um, ceremony. So true, yeah. It is very, very likely that Gant may have just slipped out at the time and then just, like, planted it in his car. And then, of course, the co conspirator is Lana Sky under command from Damon Gant. So she oh not to say spoilers but in mm. in season five was it of uh line of duty she she's the scottish detective right under the control Ooh, no comment a good comparison in fairness um no comment yeah, she's a bit, bit of a joe davidson yeah um no comment no comment <laughs> and now again i'll have to double check but i don't think lana sky is lesbian but you know what it's it's a free country you but know. maybe for maybe for her undercover for spe- <laughs> like witness for spe- protection <laughs> like sorry say. you're going down in the witness protection as lesbian but I'm not <laughs> like well your new identity is you are sorry. now <laughs> I love get a that. dog like, out of it yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah a dog in a lovely country home can't say fair than that <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen that. Yep, sorry guys, she was a lesbian all along. Sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh shit, she's just gonna stop talking. Yes, he is. That would have been funny if he had objected to his own statement. <laughs> Run away, that's gas. Because that is what she's doing. He's just going, no. Nope. He's just point black refused to say anything now. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh, right, the part. You see, this is where he knows he has to buy the balls here because there is, in a sense, no real evidence of him committing the murder. It's all circumstantial. That's for concrete proof. Do we yes. have any slabs? <laughs> no. Of course, we should have brought one of the tiles from the from the from the from the office. <laughs> that would have been it. Now, so here's a, that would totally so be me as a lawyer. Mm. So you yeah, said you want a concrete proof, and like here's a tile. There. Here's on. this pillar. Yes. And this is what I was talking about when I said it. There was, there's often these little cul-de-sacs because it's goading you into presenting evidence. Yeah, but, yeah. Again, the trick is saying that you currently don't have any evidence. There's a very key word being used there. <laughs> oh. Of course, it's just perjury now. Lady Luck, not mm. actual facts. No, Lady Luck, also known as the Chief Prosecutor, apparently. And off he goes. He's done. Oh. He's peaced out. Now the judge is going to get all uppity on us. Look, see? Look, we're getting a strike on, a, on our name. Oh. I don't like getting into trouble. Oh! Look who saved <gasps> oh. us! 
Did you? Oh. I love the the love. The one thing I love about that sequence is that it actually brings up your strikes and makes you think that you are going to get penalized, and then Edward saves you. I love when yeah, yeah. this game plays shit like that. And there's Edward pulling off a pulling off the smart one there. <clears throat> Okay. <laughs> so Emma or Lana or both? It, it would have to be Lana because Lana hasn't testified yet in this trial. Oh, she's made her position yeah. clear about that she's been guilty, 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 guilty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now we have to now simply let's get her to talk about it. Why is she guilty? Yes, now the key thing is putting Lana on the pressure so that she'll actually, you know. <laughs> yes, we are now we are summoning our own client to the witness stand. Once again, being unorthodox. Very much so. Well, in fairness, we're the one calling the witnesses, so this is as unorthodox as it fucking gets. Hey, there you go. <laughs> right then, it's time for my third lunch break because I am fucking starving. Honestly, since I since I ate those squid wheels with the with the extra tapeworm. Oh, hello. Oh, he's back. <laughs> he's back. <laughs> hello. Listen, good. I'm gonna kill you all. <laughs> but I'm not a, to prove I'm not a murderer. I'm gonna kill you all. <laughs> to prove I'm innocent, you're in trouble. Aha. Uh -huh. mm. Yes. So this has been the elephant in the room. Um, no offense, Burke, well, for the entire case, that like all signs, if Lana is innocent, as it were. Then all signs point to um, Emma Sky killing Marshall two years ago. Yeah. So then the trade-off is either Lana goes gets sent to death, like like sentenced to death for killing a policeman, or Emma Sky is sent to prison for accidentally killing a policeman, and she's like right. sixteen and has a whole life ahead of her. You know. Yeah. So this is the conundrum we have going into the last act. And oh, thank you. Surprised he's still here <laughs> and not sacked. Oh, oh, there he is. There. Oh no. Now he's just plain old-fashioned dick. <laughs> dick. Oh, nice. Okay. You're gonna be a spirit medium. <laughs> is there a John in the room? <laughs> Because he's the chief. Like, that's how he got there in the first place. Oh, Edward's oh. telling us to settle down. That's true. So if, mm. if you can't defend yourself, then, you know, more chances you can stand guilty. Exactly. It's the key point there is if you refuse to defend yourself, you know, as Edward's going to explain. There you have it. Ah, uh, look, Emma's back. Hey, look. Hey, look at you. Aren't you the cutest little murderer ever? <laughs> she seems to be cheerful for someone who's essentially going to be accused of manslaughter in a couple of minutes. Okay, so she seems okay. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> My nightmares now all make sense. There's like this strange Tanai system that keeps saying, You killed Neil Marshall. And I just couldn't understand what that meant. Dreams are weird. <laughs> it's such a nice feeling having mm. someone do all those terrible things for me. Exactly. 
really shows sisterly love, you know? Oh, that's grim. Mm-hmm. So... Ah, there's the kill. That's there you have it. It was bound to happen. <laughs> Don't go blaming yourself for all that killing you did. Mm. Time for the final oh, act. It's a okay. final act. Ah, very meta. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's going to be on the bar with us. Andy. She can um, deploy some science, I guess. Yes. Science of sisterly love. <laughs> because now it's, it's at this point in the game where you could really rely on some good old-fashioned chemistry to get us through this, you know? So this is no. it. this is it. The, officially, the last little rally of of, uh, of trial action in this game. And half to and twenty past two in the afternoon, no less. <laughs> it's far too late for this. It's a third lunch. Yeah, right. Like four bastards. They want to try and get shit done before the first day, like. You are the chief prosecutor, and you have a lovely scarf, might I add. <laughs> yes, but the people don't know. Tell the people who you are. Why you're to blame. Now again, we, we kind of have an idea of what Lana is going to do here. So the, the idea now is essentially to try and crack our own client. To yeah. Uh, to tell the truth. <laughs> At least show some form of emotion. <laughs> show something. Oh, you. The reason I've destroyed my soul. Mm. Yes, that's great. You'll always be there as a reminder of my soul I used to have. You were quite literally a reflection of my youth and energy. <laughs> God, I hate you. <laughs> right, here we go. First yes. testimony. No truth at all. Okay, well. <laughs> right then. Okay. Right, so that's just all bullshit. Um, yeah. Right, where do we start? <laughs> okay. It really says a lot that she's willing to quite literally die so her sister is innocent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't think she is Phoenix. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be honest. Okay. So mm -hmm. let's so pull on some threads. Mm hmm. So again, this is the tricky, again, this is be the tricky part as well, is whether to start like actually showing evidence to say that's bollocks, or do you want to try and tease out the detail and, and get a contradiction that way? That's that's the yeah. uh, the inner conundrum here. So much like the first few like testimonies you've had, it's always nice to flesh out the first part and then we the first section testimony, and then you start yeah, uh, yeah. nailing a few things then. So initiative. Exactly. But at the same time, when we got the pilot for our TV show, it didn't take <laughs> off because Gant just wanted to keep swimming on set. It was really distracting. There was just puddles everywhere. 
just... And the smell of chlorine was knocking out the cameraman. He just wouldn't stop. I, mean, I wouldn't mind, but we were... But the, but the pilot was in New York. <laughs> there was no water to go for in 20 years. <laughs> I keep trying to assume in the Hudson River. It was very distracting. Yes, with no one to say yeah. it. No one to hear it. And that's exactly what it was. Yeah. Yeah, in it's the eyes of the law. Gossip. Phoenix Wright, massive gossip. He is a bit of a gossip, in fairness. I like how she's turning away. She can't even lie to his face. <laughs> that's what she does, right? She's so used to having no emotion. Whenever she just wants to make a funny face, she just turns around. That's what she does. She, she's the most immature 29-year-old chief prosecutor you've ever seen. <laughs> Hi, and yes, this is all of her, this is all her motivation. She doesn't want Emma's career to be ruined. The woman does have a heart, after all. Mm -hmm. mm. So it's a measure of revenge as well. So again, let's so let's get a bit of a refresher here. So when Lana Sky finds the crime scene, she sees Neil Marshall impaled on the knight's armor, Joe Dark knocked out, concussed apparently from the crash, and then Emma Sky passed out. This is yeah. what this is what she has seen here, and I, and it's I think it's it's nice to have a bit of a refresher for the next part here, because I think it's 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 a big deal to get these in, in the right order. Now this, now this okay. is a departure. Yes. Fair point, Edwards. Okay. Yes, that's exactly what Phoenix is saying there. Even though the story that we are told does marry up with what we know, this is completely, complete nonsense. Yeah. So now this is where we strike. Broke off a tip of Dark's knife, planted it inside the wound, then moved the body. 